for this back extension exercise, you're gonna want this machine to hit you right at the top of your thigh. So you'll just adjust it. Most of them kind of have a lever here and some sort of way to let the seat down and or let the hip pads down. I believe that's what they're called. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna back your heels up to the very end of that little board there. You can use these to kind of balance yourself. You wanna make sure these hit you at the top of your thighs and not uh, not further up. We don't wanna crowd your movement. What you're gonna focus on here is bracing your abs and tucking your tailbone when you're at the top. What we don't wanna do is come up into like a, like a back bend thing. We just wanna keep a nice flat back and we're only worried about hinging the hips. So tight belly, squeezing the glutes at the top. You're just gonna hinge, you're bending right at your hip creases and you're imagining pushing your hips back rather than bending forward. So you're pushing your hips back here and then you're coming up here. So you can start with your hands on your hips. This is a good kind of starting position. Keeps you informed of what your hips are doing. Just squeeze your glutes at the top, belly tight. If you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can take your hands, kind of put them across your shoulders, come up and down. Focus on squeezing the glutes. We want to feel this mostly in the glutes and in the back of the legs. If you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can take your hands and just kind of put them behind your ears or put your fingertips behind your ears. We don't actually wanna pull on our neck or anything. So I'm just touching right behind my ears. And just breathe out during the hard part. These can be a lot, so start with a conservative number and you can go up from there. Most people will do about eight to 10. Sometimes if you get a lot of endurance in those muscles, you can go 20, maybe even more, who knows. So now you get to try it. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, and thought it was useful, go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so that you'll stay in the loop every time that I drop a new video.